data frame here and pd dot a simple data frame i'm making first of all to give you a quick example so let's say it's a 2d obviously so 0 2 3 and 0 4 1 then 20 and 30 and let's say as i said yes when the parameters are there so i'm making a parameter index 456 like writing the index 456 and also giving the column names yesterday we see that these are these were the column names you can also write the columns as this right a b c and let's see the tf it looks like a b c the values are 0 2 3 0 4 1 10 20 and 30 right now if we want to look at what is stored in the first column uh, in the first row what is my first row what is the index of my first row if i look onto my df dot index what are my index four five and six <laughs> right so first row is having fourth so i have to look on that what is in my fourth row uh, like in the first row right so the index is four so df dot locate oh, sorry uh, we are using at okay so at four oh invalid copper scalar all right once again I add add of one. We have to write one more value. So four of uh, zero will so give you the value on the of range. If four is out of the way for the zero with the axis of three. Hmm. So four of a. I think column name should be there. Four of a. Uh, all right this is one all right so we need to access like what is there in the fourth row of the first column fourth of a is zero what is the uh, row in the second column fourth of b is two you can do this so to get a specified row or a column pair you do this right now if you want to define that first row first column zero would be 10 let's say so i'll write this a will be equals to 10 and that's it we'll look onto the df we'll have the 10 2 3 0 4 1 and all these values all right okay same goes with the i at event right so with the i at with the i at what we'll do the same thing how will we are going to write the df dot i a at okay index value that is the 0 0 at row 1 okay like this run this the 2 you get right what is it what is this 0 and 1 the zeroth row that is the first row and one is the second column so in the zeroth row in the first column what you have two is that clear to everyone yes, sir. all right right so apart from this i a at and a t we have two more functions called as lock and i a lock okay so let me write that the loc and i loc how this works so df dot loc now if i say that locate something all right locate some rows so locate of four if i say and when i run this what i see a series basically if you remember what we discussed yesterday the series see the left side you have the index and the right side are having the values and the name you are getting four that is nothing but the pd dot series dot name that is the name actually all right this function basically so if we go that uh, or if we say the df of uh, a so we have 10 10 10 basically what we get uh, no, no 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 this is the column this is the row right so we get 10 10 and 10 right and that is the name of a, a series basically so it just will like uh, if we build a series like uh, s1 is equals to pd dot or if just we make a series just sample one series of 1 2 3 4 5 and we say name is equals to a sample from this so what do you see the name of the series as sample all right so that name is nothing but the series name basically so what do you get like if you are writing 4 that means the first one the first one and you see 10 2 and 3 that is the fourth of a is having 10th b is having 2 and c is having 3 
and the data type is integer 64. The same thing if we want to look with the i, that is with the indexing values, what I have to write the i l o c and we'll look the 0. The same thing 10, 2, 3. If you see the things, see 10, 2, 3, the name and the integer. But here you write the row name, that is 4. But here you have to write the index name that is or index value that is 0 because the first one is the 0 all right and the same thing if you want in a tabular sheet in a tabular way or exactly in a 2d form this is a 1d form right but when you want this in a 2d form what you have to make is a 2d bracket or like a 2d way a 2d dimension so you will write this as like ilOC a 2d and the 0 and you see the same all right or with a loc a 2d and the 4 that's it clear to everyone having doubts <coughs> no right so let me everyone is clear with this everyone no one is having doubts now be sure well no one means no one because these are very important things. All right. Moving next. So if I say df of res, what is that? Uh, this is the result. So I, I'll make it as a short now. Now df let it be df is equals to df of res. All right. So this is my df. Right. Now if I say what is the marks of a? in mathematics how will you get it yeah i see only one is speaking yes what can be the code everyone no i just only want the mathematics one that's it not the whole row. You are saying df of log of log of a a comma comma mathematics mathematics. That is an error because a is not the row name. That is a name column. Alright. That is a column. So you say 0. 98. Right? Just yes, we yes. did just the function of at. See, it's very easy. It's programming with the pandas is not very such hard thing. You just need to see what is there at the zeroth column of the mathematics, the zeroth row of the mathematics column, basically. Any other way? Anyone else than Omkar? Any other way? So many are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 are there right now. Anyone? Shivani, you say? Or Sri Vidya, Raj Sagar, Arpan, anyone? Quickly, any other way? All right, see, just go with the i at df dot i at the zeroth row. All right, mathematics has got 0, 1, 2, 1, 3. Is it clear? Doubts? Yes, so, so, when we use add i at and see, that depends on you. Actually, the a log log when you use log, i log and all, this can give you 2D results. This i80 give you a 1D kind of results. 
right so that is the major purpose where we use i at and out when you need one dimensions two dimensions that purpose is called like one dimensions we use at and i at two dimensions we use log and mostly we use loc you, you will uh, hardly found i at and at some places right all right so these can be the ways or other than this what can be the ways i can simply write that the df of mathematics of the zero column a zero row is having 98 clear yes. easy first you write the column then you write the row What if, what if we write the column, uh, row first and then column? Okay. So, see, what if you write this key error of zero, right? Because if you want to write the row first, that's why we have made the function log and add. You use that. If you want to write the row first. You can use that. When the column is coming first, then the function is this. Click now. All right. I got it. Clear. Okay. All right. Uh, so, what is the difference between log and add? Difference between. I log and I add all the, those two commands. All right. Uh, they're no, the same one. Um, answer right? Yeah, answers are actually same. See, so uh, I log is something uh, using uh, the values with the index, and I add also is giving the values with the index. And that was I said that when you want to get the one D results, you use I add. When you are, you want to get a two D kind of results and in a tabular kind of sheet, you use I log. Okay. Okay. The Thank values you. will be same. That's not a, like all the functions. What you there is, I at dialog and more X S and more functions are there. All th those will be giving you the same values, but the the ways of getting the values are different. You get one D in the I log. You get two D in the I log. All those things can be given. in I at. You get one D. Okay. Thanks. All right. Next, we have uh, something called as access. Access is not a x i s. I'm talking about. Okay, this is a x e s. If the d f dot access, what is that? All the rows and the columns values or the ranges you will be getting. So row starts from zero, stops at five, goes in the stepping of one, and the uh, columns goes with the name physics, chemistry, mathematics, computer science. All right. So in fact of going with index and the columns. Remember dictionary. What we write for getting the keys and values in the same time, items, uh, dictionary dot items, whatever it is, you get the keys and values at the same time. For there also, if you write the index and columns, so in fact of getting this, if you want something to be get at once, you can use access. Clear. Okay. All right. Yeah. Nice. That was some. Okay. All right. Now, uh, D F A K, right? So, what is the sum of all the students? A total of all the students. Clear. Right. Just writing D F dot sum of X is one. That's it. You get zero is having three fifty three. One is having three hundred five. Now you want to look at what is a zero. What is zero? And who is having the maximum value? Three fifty three is maximum. Now what you can do is in the D F dot locate. You need to locate that where the uh, D F. Yeah, what what do you say? Sum. 
dm dot sum is equal equal to 353. So Boolean unit has a length one instead of five. Uh, we have you something else. I think it should be side one. Uh, that is fine. Df dot sum. We have made something wrong. Is giving the results of this. All right. <laughs> this will not give exactly why because we are not giving excess. Let's see a one. Okay. All right. So a is the top. <laughs> we can say. All right. So with the second one, we'll go by the maximums and all. Sorting the values. Sorting by something values and all. I'll be seeing it. Like. Okay. Yes, sir, sir. I have a question. Yeah. Like. Yeah, like uh, while uh, creating the data set, if you want to uh, delete the index, like it's uh, like default index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, if, if we don't want that index, how can it will be done? So, what you know, uh, what you exactly want as index, like first, the index will be named. Mm -hmm. I, I want to give the index as name, name that name. Column. You want to make a column as an index? Yes, sir. All right. That is, uh, see, there is a function for like uh, if you have a column and uh, you want to make it as an index, you have to write it uh, this as set index is equals to this, right? Let's see. Like, let's say uh, you want to set which column you said name? Yes, sir. All right, it's easy. Say, so your df dot set index. All right, df dot set index. Whatever the index you have, you just write it there. Uh, name you have given, and this is the result. Clear? Yes. Huh? I was using reset actually instead of set. Uh. So this is clear, right? So if you see df, it will not be affected actually because we are not storing the things, right? We are just uh, printing the way we want actually. So if you want to store, you write df is equal to this, you'll get it, okay? In this case, you can use a, b, c, and all like df is equal to this and df. For this, now df is this, right? Now, if that if we run the same things, df of axis of the sum or max or df of sum. So physics, uh, oh, sorry, x is super given. So a has got 353 and then the results are like something like this, okay? And if we say df of sum with this divided by 400, what is the result total? Uh, yeah, 400 multiplied by 100, we get the percentages and we get something like 88 point this is this and if we round off to this to one so we'll say round this to one and we get 88.2 percent and then 79 and all this right so you can sort total thing oh sorry 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 well, this is not the sort function data frame of the sorting values this should be taken in the columns mm, yeah fine that's good right so mean median max mode and all you can find it like all right so percentages are easy in fact of yesterday's what we did yesterday's class like 9p of this 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 and dividing it by something something and inside writing it apply function we applied some apply function without apply we can use, use just like if you want if you now you have learned how to write things right okay now uh, we'll be dealing with data sets like by tomorrow we'll be starting up with the data sets or uh, it may be like we'll start with today also we'll go in data set like further all right it's the moment seven it's having ten 
okay let's load the data set if I have here then it's okay mm. I'll give you a drive link of the data sets we'll be using what exactly is a data set you understand like uh, a data set consists of lot of columns and lot of rows like 1000 rows, 1500 rows uh, file size would be very less exactly because those will be in a CSV format All right okay let's see some data set let's start with Netflix data set where exactly it is Netflix data set Today we will go with the two of the data sets. So let's write there. CSV full form is anyone who knows CSV full form. Why we use CSV? Comma separated. Comma separated. Comma separated. Values. Values. Mm. Why we use CSV files instead of Excel? Mm. Now it is okay. Yeah. So. See how do we load data sets? It's like very easy and very most interesting part when you deal with the data sets. It's all about the functions we use. That's it. So mm, let's say loading Netflix data set. Mm, let it be net. So it is like uh, pd dot read. So whatever the data uh, type you are reading, it is depend on that, right? CSV, Excel, PDF, JSON, or XML, whatever, right? So we are using CSV. Why so I have uploaded uh, there in my uh, the what is that said as directory, right? So why I have uploaded because I don't have to write in the whole path. If you don't upload it here, like if it is there in your desktop or in your download section. So you can go to your directory and like you can first see where exactly is it this is there and then you can write it there okay inside that dot csv and run this done all right what if we don't have there in your directory uh, how to look your directory i have said you like in which directory exactly you are working how to look that anyone who knows the function quick guys these are the basic things anyone mm -hmm. python basics these Pardon? are yeah yeah Someone was trying to say something yes, say. <laughs> See, it's like you have to support system. Ah, no, not all the time. That's it. All right. 
get OS operating system start get CWD that is get the current working directory clear if you want to change your directory you can write your directory path here inside this and the file will be saved somewhere else like this every file have its own directory okay if you click onto any file the file is having it so in collab if you are working let me open the collab some of you might also work in the collab like if you are working in collab in that case you can search like your directory is in this side in the left hand side mm. new notebook let me open this yeah so uh, where it is the folders yeah and this side this is your directory connecting to a runtime every time guys use the runtime of tpu will do this in the computer vision in aiml part you have computer visions mm, connecting a runtime to enable file browsing how do fast initializing connected see so this is your like if you say import os os dot get cwd it will give in some kind of drive so drive of content like if you look on this to the files we go back so inside this drive you have all these things so inside this content folder you have the sample data and inside that you have all these things you will find some data sets like california housing test csv right in the side it will be given mni ist data set some of you were asking me in which to work you can get data sets from here uh, testing data training data will learn uh, regarding the uh, things basically so files are too large you can download the things okay if you go for machine learning you can find a lot of data sets from here it's easy Collabs are like a good things if you want to go and inside the cells you will get a lot of modules, classes and folks. Out. Okay, let's come back to our modules. Okay. So, right. Okay. Let's display. So, data sets are having a lot of rows and a lot of columns. Now, what exactly is this Netflix.csv? First, you have to learn about what the data set is. So, what we will do is, we will say the data set dot the info. Right, the info will tell you what exactly the data set is having. Like class, what is a class? The pandas core frame that is data frame. All right. Next, the range index. What are the ranges? All right. What are the ranges here? So ranges is like having six thousand two hundred and thirty-four entries starting from zero and ending at six two three three. All right. The data columns, at least total 12 columns are there. The column names are there, show ID, type, title, director, cast, country and all those things. The non-null count is nothing but like uh, you're having like how many non-null characters are there. Okay. So non-null character counts are there. And then the integer object and all, like uh, if it is having integer, then it's integer 64. Or other than integer, it's having inside the string, is having the float. Okay. The data types is being used as 2 of integer 64, 10 of the objects. And the total memory is being used as 584.6 dB. Uh, like plus of that. Okay. All right. So clear to this what info gives you. All right. Now, if you're like in this case, you, you can see mostly the data type is object. So there is no use of the next function that is described. I'm not going to use that, right? Okay. When we'll be dealing with the different data sets, uh, we have a lot of data sets to deal with, right? almost around six to eight data sets are there to deal with right so when we'll be dealing with some numeric data sets then we'll be using describe actually it tells you the statistics of all the data set basically 
all right so uh, info is clear right next now to see the first five rows of your data what you do is you write the head it gives you the first five rows see 0 1 2 3 4 five rows okay inside the head if you want like only the first row you write one you'll get only the first row so first row is a type of a movie which was given like a date added 2019 and so does it goes all right okay release here is having an integer all right then we can have a lot of things same goes with like if you want to look on the last five rows we'll write net dot tail last five rows okay similarly tail of so tail of zero will give you nothing because it will only give you the column names in a tab sheet if you write one you'll get the last element value if you write nothing you'll get the five values this is the one <coughs> just a moment <coughs> right and <coughs> So apart from this, like head and tail, if you want some random values from your data, you can just write your data frame dot the sample. How many sample you want? Let's say two, three or two or three sample. So two samples. All right. Now there will not be any consistency. See 900, 3142, any sample will be coming out, right? You know, like how sample works exactly. Five. Or just say random, sir. Random, any, uh, any random. Okay, any random values will be given. Four seven three zero. See, three seven five four. Any random will be coming. Like how random exactly works. All right. So how many years data we are having? Let's see. How can we see that? How many years data we are having? We can just see the release year in the integer. From there we can see that how many years value we are having. The first question can be this in the data set how many years uh, shows our data what is this we are having all right what i said df oh sorry net of mm, where is it release here So we see starting from 2019 and the last I can see is 2003 is this so. So what we'll do is we'll be going to see the unique values. So like a net of this dot unique. We don't want actually 6000 values. So we'll be finding the unique values. So these are the results. Hmm, okay. Let's sort this. So let's convert this to list. And let's say the years data we are having Y, okay, or years, let's say. And so as it is a list, I'm using the sort function. Nothing. What is there in the years? Is this the having results here? So years dot sort. And we get the results, yeah. 
So we have data from 1925 to 2020. Wow, nice. We have till 2020. All right. Understood what we did? Yes, sir. Everyone having any doubts? Any student is having any doubts can ask. What we did is just nothing that we have taken the release here. What we did just here, will be, uh, just above the mm, here. See, mathematics. Okay. I said you that for making any column as in the data set will be going with the columns. There actually we are making a series. Okay. So when we uh, went to the release here, what we made a series basically. If you look again, net of any uh, I'm just taking a type now for now example so type is having C name length the data type this this is basically a series okay and then I found the unique unique means exactly the uncommon value or like common common or some some common or factorization in mathematics you can say as, right so we get it like 925, 42, the same things have been combined and the unique values are there. 925. So how many years, how many years data we are having? We want the length exactly. 72 years data. So Netflix is quite a good brand you can see. Here. Leading there and all these are values no one is having doubt just reply so, yeah so we use a uh, two list like the, the, the function mm. to change that uh, series into the list yeah so we can convert any kind of uh, series into yeah list. you can convert with this and there is one more function like if you're having any array you can use underscore to list that is not based on numpy array because this is a numpy array uh, because we have used unique so it becomes a numpy array in that case you cannot like if it is not a numpy array we can use a, even this one that is two less like let's see of uh, df no not df net of a type two less let's run this see if it is not a numpy array it can also convert in the list the two functions are there two list or this or you can just write a list of all these things that will be also an easy one like list the constructor method okay so if you don't remember all the functions that is very easy actually Hmm. So I am asking again, after then when I will give homeworks and when I will give tasks, don't say sir, we cannot make this, alright. So clear to everyone. Hmm, I hope. Nice. Okay, let's increase some bit complexities now. So first we went for finding the release years total release year then we go for finding the unique function and then we converted it in the case of a list and then we sorted the values and then find the length of the years and there is the answer okay all right okay next question now what if uh, okay uh, what are the columns i am having here the easiest question I'm asking, what are the columns? Column names. You can use uh, left the, the columns or axis. So we can use axis. Hmm, axis will give you also that uh, Ranges also, right? So you can just write names net dot columns. All these are columns. Index will give you index, right? Shapes will give you the like uh, row and the columns, how many it is, all right? Now, many a time you will look that some, uh, see here it is, yeah, that's exactly what I am trying to say. NAN, many a times you will find this NAN values, right? That is very bad for any data set. 
if you are having nan values this is bad for a data set it should be very less actually in less columns or the columns which are not very important now we have discussed how we can find nan values in the numpy we have discussed right the same goes here also how many null nan means null okay no that is zero not also zero nothing basically how many null values are there so what we will do is net dot is null so we see a true false kind of thing so all the values which are true is basically are having null right so we can say in the net dot locate cannot copy sequence of size 2 3 4 axis with the dimension 12 ho oh, having a lot this command can it locate this no all right so uh, this is net dot is null and we are getting a lot of things right so how can we know that which column has got how many number of null values so that is like net dot is null and then the sum so this gives you uh some has no oh this is not a function completed so we see that show id has got no null values type is having no null values title is having no null values director is having 1969 null values cast is having 570 country is 470 and so on right now well, let's see a heat map of this so finding a or a heat map what we'll do we'll be going with a graphical representation and for that we require c bond and now it will be a heat map and of the net dot is null Uh, we'll get an error yeah i knew so this is the value what we see is the black lines uh, sorry the white lines what you see is nothing but the see what, what white lines say where is a white here it is a gray you can see so gray stands for one one means true in computer language one means true so we have a lot of true values that is a lot of null values in the director a very less values in the cast and some values in the uh, country okay uh, this is not looking good actually mm, no Let's see some light colors. Yeah, this is fine. Light colors are okay. Okay. So this is giving you some good results in the director and then the country is having and the cast is having. Okay. If you want to write the number of results, you can write even that too. We'll go when we learn C1. We'll the data science students when you will learn C1, we'll be seeing that. Okay. All right and for the data types if you want to see what exactly the data types are having in which columns what are the data types of each column what what are the function you will be using That's one. All right. Okay. I think things are clear to you, like uh, with the data types and all. Sir. Yes. 
सर दिस नल वैल्यू इज यूजर जनरेटेड और इट इज जनरेटेड व्हाइल क्रिएटिंग द डेटा फ्रेम सॉरी आई डिड नॉट गेट यू व्हाट यू सेड लाइक द नल वैल्यू सर इन इन द सीरीज ऑफ द डेटा फ्रेम इट इज यूजर डिफाइंड और इट गेट्स जनरेटेड व्हाइल क्रिएटिंग द डेटा फ्रेम user defined null values are what null values are like in the data set there are some null values null values means uh, that there is no such data that is an empty place okay so okay. means like let's say let's say that uh, see see i'm i'm making it clear i have an netflix data set okay let me share you the screen just a moment all right so let me show you the screen where is it the file come here you said this is not fair yeah me but then sir you too ah it's like nice where we have netflix and open with this is See what exactly NAND means. That it is an empty place. Not even zero is there. It's a blank. But in case when we learn with the data frames, there you see it's taking time. All right, let it be. So when it we uh, like with the data frames, in that case you'll find it with NAND and all NP dot NAND. Sometimes uh, N O N E NAND. Lot of values. Right, this height. Okay, come on, load on. Yesterday's video is not uploaded, right? Actually, I was having some net problems. I think it's done. Mm, idea. Where it is? Where is my one? I'm not having my meat. Can you hear my voice? No. All right. Okay. I have to join the link again. And stop this. Stop this. Somewhere I'm presenting it means where exactly it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm audible. Yes, sir. Yeah, I thought the class has ended. All right. See, uh, nine values. Hmm. Where? See, all these spaces is having nothing. Okay, these are the nine values. It is not having anything. All right, clear, guys. <laughs> so this is a data set. How many values it is having? A well, lot. Six thousand is much, right? Okay. Let's come back to our work. So let me stop the sharing. Share Chrome tab. Mm, where will we? D A right. Uh, okay. So that are column things, all right. Uh, next data set is like regarding what more we can explore with this, like kind of uh, cast, kind of cast using the country. So what you guys will do is your your task for today is you go through this data set. How will you go? I'll give you the link of the drive. Okay. 
where you will find all these data sets. So what you do is you go through the data set like exploratory data analysis you have to perform that is nothing but you have to go through each of the column whatever you can find whatever like I have given you three questions how many null values are there or what are the columns what are the index values how many years data we are having like this that is basically called as data analyzing so you go on analyzing your data what exactly the things you are having up here all right and then you make a report of that and then you main it right like this will create your efficient sheet like it will build your efficiency in data analyzations okay don't go for uh, the graphings and all because many of you might don't know the graphings right just go for like finding up the data so right so any doubts for today or things are cleared all right i'm stopping the video